I think we've definitely moved into another phase where we're looking at the scriptures, looking at the questions of the, the plenary more carefully. And um, uh, again, uh, we're, we're trying to see where the Spirit's leading. I think there's very good uh, pauses, silences, and from that silence comes a certain richness that is uh, definitely going a deeper level now. I've definitely felt the spirit moving the most in the small group sessions and within the breakout groups um, in the evenings, like the afternoons. And I think that that has been the most valuable thing so far um, of the plenary for me. I mean, I've been hearing from a lot of people. So I was, I've experienced the Holy Spirit moving from different people, especially from the lay people, uh, for people from the professional backgrounds not just the religious and priest. So the spirit is moving. And I, I, I'm i quite confident about the future of the church in Australia. We've got a lot to do, and we've got a lot of exciting things to come. So with this council, will bring us to a, a, the next level. Yes, you'd hardly call it simply a, a talk fest. I mean, there's plenty of talking, <laughs> but there's, there's a... Um, a time of germination of the ideas, a time of, of meditating on the ideas, and a time of asking, where are you in this, God? Uh, that's new, quite unique. Now, I think it is difficult because it's all online, because there is a certain energy when, when people are physically there, but it's not a bad plan B, and the Holy Spirit's working over time to bust through those difficulties and to reveal the voice and the whisper of Jesus even more. Incorporating a welcome to country or an acknowledgement to country is something I've grown up with within the church through using cultural gifts to express my faith and um, things like that through Natsik and through other, you know, groups within the church. Um, and I think it's a very beautiful thing that we're able to share that with uh, the broader community as well, uh, you know, across the plenary and across Australia within our church. Um, and it's it's an important thing when being on country together that we, before we conduct business, we acknowledge the ancestors and, and the traditional custodians of the lands in which we're gathering from. Especially what I heard today was pretty much the universality or the communal aspect of the church. I mean, church is not just one person business or a one group of people trying to drive forward. But it is the very communal. So, yes, I, I'm very hopeful that we, we can move forward in this. One way that the Holy Spirit's moving is, is the increased profile of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, their contribution. Um, people that more so than ever before are sort of saying what, what Aboriginal country they're from, at the start, the acknowledgement of the country. Um, and uh, there's a real sense that that's, that's quite deeper than I've experienced before. So I think from our First Nations, we, we are the Holy Spirit saying something very special. My discernment question in the group that I have been a part of is about um, incorporating Indigenous ways within the Church of Australia. Yesterday with the scripture, let anyone with ears listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. It was a lot of talk around how do we listen and what are we listening with? We're listening with our ears, but how do we hear with our hearts? And today, the next step in our discernment of small group was about really opening up and being vulnerable with one another so that we can share that heart experience and that heart connection, building their relationships together, exploring the challenges and the achievements thus far, as well as uh, showing our vulnerabilities to build that relationship with one another. What I'm hearing is that people are talking from a different perspective, not so much of comparing yourself with other people, sort of look at ourselves, what can I do best for the future of the church? I mean, I heard from a religious sister, from a, from a doctor, from a lawyer, from a young person. It's just a matter of doing the best from your own perspective. Instead of comparing yourself, I should be doing this or this person should be doing that.